Hello, hello, friends, and welcome back. Lethal Weasel VR. So, it's, uh, it's been a few days, huh? So, where have I been, right? I upload a video every day for a solid month, and then all of a sudden I just drop off for, what, it's been three or four days now? What gives, Weasel? Well, I'll tell you. Anyone who watched my last video through to the end will remember that I said at the end that I wanted to cover an uh, Oculus Rift PC VR game next. And that's something that I've never done before. I've never recorded any PC VR. So I spent the weekend trying to set that up and uh, without getting into too many details, I have had some technical issues, obviously. I have worked through most of them, but there's still one that is lingering. It is being an SOB, so uh, we're almost on top of it. And uh, I thought in the meantime, since it has been a few days, I would hop into the PSVR real quick and show you another one of my favorite PSVR games. There are so many of them. So this is Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. I was... Uh, I was browsing the PlayStation Network store today, and they're having this huge VR sale. All sorts of great games with heavy discounts, and this is one of the games. 70% off right now, folks. $4.49. It's a steal. Uh, if you don't have this already and you have a PlayStation VR, I highly recommend it. So whenever you first try VR... And you realize how cool it is and and how things are immediately afterwards your mind starts rushing to all the different sorts of experiences that you might enjoy in VR and invariably most of us pretty quickly get to roller coasters of course in something like VR roller coaster simulations would be perfect so there are tons of them at this point. VR has been around a few years now. There are tons of roller coaster simulations. But you know what? Most of them stink. I haven't tried all of them. There are many that I haven't tried. But there are, are a lot that I've tried. And most of them aren't very good. You don't feel like you're really moving. You don't feel like you're high in the air at all. And they're just kind of boring. The physics are bad. The... the Graphics are bad. There's always something that pulls you out of the immersion. So despite the fact that Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, is one of the launch titles that launched with PlayStation VR, it still holds up today as probably the best roller coaster simulation that I've tried. And that's not to even speak, not to even speak of the awesome gameplay. And this is a fun game. This is an evil game, and as you know, evil games are number one. So let's get in here and let me show it to you. This game is awesome. It's nearly three years old, and I still play it all the time. It's an awesome game. It's easy to pick up, uh, even for beginners, can jump right into this and have no problem learning how to play it. Even people who aren't gamers can jump into this game the first time that they play VR and have the uh, the mechanics down in five minutes. It's simple and it's fun. So let's try it out. We're going to be using the motion controllers today. All right, so this is the calibration screen. You just hold your arms out directly in front of you and press the move button on each one and there you go. And the tracking is surprisingly great in this game. It's not okay, it's great. It's one to one, as soon as they give you your arms, they look like they're your arms. All right, so for the purposes of our scientific video here, I'm gonna start a new story, of course. You know me, start to finish, that's how we do it. You will lose current progress. Oh, that's the funnest part, getting that progress back. All right, easy, normal, 
insane, psychotic. All right, it's been a while since I played, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with insane instead of jumping straight into the psychotic. Welcome, my friend, and step right up to the ride of your life. You step there up. There are wonders beyond this door that will test your skill and test your will. Do we have a winner here today? See the targets, shoot the targets, and try your best not to die, of course. Of if it course. sounds simple, then by all means, show me what you're made of. Absolutely. All you have to do is point your weapon right over here at this sign and pull the trigger. I'm a target shooting fool. You don't even know who you're talking to, buddy. Bing. Trigger to shoot. Move button to reload. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So one of the reasons that this game is so easy to play for beginners is that the flashlights always stay on your guns. So if you're pointing at something and it's appropriately illuminated, then you're aiming right where you need to be aiming. All right. One of the first things that stuck out to me about this game are the outdoor environments. Still, some of the more realistic Back in business, hippity -ho. One that I've seen. One minute we go. Just wait and see what's around the bend, and I'll see you when you reach the end. I mean, I truly feel like I'm outside right now. I mean, it's not quite as cold as it would be outside. But the graphics and physics of this game are superb. And you're just basically, this is a shoot 'em up. Anything that has those red, white, and blue targets on them can be shot. And you basically just want to shoot everything that you see that has a target, of course. Crap. A little bit rusty, folks. Ah, we missed one. No sleep for Weasel tonight. We missed a target. And it's taunting me. I can hear it. It said, Wah. Let's see here. Balloons we can shoot. Gun them down. Yes, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice shooting text. Okay. Our world famous freak show. I can see why. It's pretty freaky. You ever hear the one about the guy who got stuck on a carousel and couldn't get off? Eh, even with all the grease from the horses. <laughs> all right, all right. Just warming up. Just warming up. Yep, that's right. We're just warming up. Feel slow right now. You know I'm shooting all right. I'm fairly accurate. Something else cool about this game is you do have to watch your head from time to time. You can't just sit in your seat and not worry about it because there are things that will pop out that will take your head off.
All right. So this is one of the first games I played in VR, and uh, it was this moment here that I think I fell in love. Cause this roller coaster feels like a roller coaster. Even now that I'm used to VR, it still feels like a roller coaster. It's awesome. Here we go. That's so cool. You can feel the movement. You, re you really feel like you're moving. I mean, it's not the biggest roller coaster in the world. But it doesn't have to be. Whoa. And I love the uh, creepy carnival <laughs> motif. I got some gun upgrades here. That's cool. There's lots of uh, guns in this game. Looks like we're on the wrong path. It seems we've landed on the old ghost train. The old ghost train. I always feel weird about wasting my good guns on these targets, but that's what we're here to do is shoot the targets, right? Oh crap. That man hit me. Jerk. I think it was that guy from Slipknot too, did you see that? You want to keep shooting the targets as, as often as you can because you have a multiplier down here on your dash and you're basically shooting for a high score here that's, that's why we're here is to get the high score There's always got to be a music box, doesn't there? Great 3D audio in this game. You can hear where these guys are coming from, even if you're not looking for, looking directly at them, you know where they're at. Somebody shut that baby up. This is an issue I have. These little cutscenes kill your multiplier. They don't give you anything to shoot. I'm having some trouble to my left side here. These guys are getting to me when they should not be. That is my bad, ladies and gentlemen. We got to get better if we don't want to die. Some more cool roller coaster. This is the, the whole MO for this game. 
get a few minutes of cool roller coaster action and then a few minutes of murder. Today, so the thing I just shot back there, if you caught that, is a, uh, a collectible. They're hidden throughout the levels and I think there's like eight of them in most, if not all, levels. Okay, so that was weird. Creepy evil doctor guy. Obviously has me in a chair somewhere. And then we're right back here in the maintenance area of this old creepy amusement park. Uh, check out the buzz saws, people. It's getting real up in here. But I'm afraid of the dark. So I hear this dude walking up next to me on the left here, coming from behind me. <laughs> that dude obviously thought that was funny. I failed to see the humor. Sit back, relax. Well, apparently I'm at the evil dentist. Dr. Giggles. Alright, so we got a B plus. I would have liked an A, but what are you going to do? Okay, I said there's eight collectibles. There's more like 20 collectibles. Like I said, it's been a while since I played. I found the secret. It was that video camera I shot right before the game zapped me out into that uh, evil doctor office. Well, looks like Weasel is number four and number five locally. And among my friends, I'm number one and number two. And in the world, I am nowhere near it. What was my top score? Like 160,000? I'm a, a full 100,000 behind Zach Tiller. So Zach Tiller, if you're out there, props to you, buddy. All right, let's continue. Let's do another one. Well, now, listen up, listen up. Things have taken an unexpected turn, and I'm the first to admit that we need things corrected. Now, there's just one more thing. Don't be alarmed. You've inhaled a gas. And Notice while there's that. no harm in it, there is one little side effect. You may start to see things that aren't really there. Which is why I hesitate to bestow upon you this kind of firepower. But you'll need some protection. The cycle you've done this is still at large, so I advise you to move on. You to beware. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Again, the environments and the textures are very realistic look in this game. Amazing for how old it is. Just how well it stands up. Again, people, four dollars 
49 cents for PlayStation Plus members on the store this week. Go buy it. It's awesome. Creepy. Hmm. Nummy. And as I was saying, everything that has a target is a target. And I have shotguns. In case you didn't notice that, gentlemen. The first time you go through it, this level is rather uh, striking. And if any of you out there would like to uh, try this level, this level is available on the uh, PSVR demo disc. You may even be able to get it as a standalone demo. Pigman. Apparently, these pig guys did not see my Here They Lie playthrough. I know how to deal with pig dudes. Into the mouth of the hog. <laughs> Whoa. This one's a lot faster, as you can tell. <laughs> now here's the big drop. This is awesome. Gotta dodge the hatchets. And this part is cool because the orientation of this whoa the orientation of this place plays with your head you're just kind of rolling through this old creepy hotel or whatever this is and it starts to turn around you like this I wish this was a real roller coaster I would really enjoy experiencing this in real life that's incredible and I really do think that's that dude from Slipknot I mean look at him for sure that guy's from Iowa if nothing else he might be the president of the fan club Keep our multiplier going here with these two vases over here. Not today, bro. 
I got a trophy! Hurrah! Hooray for me! Whoa, they live! That was fun. I've played that level probably 50 times. And it is fun every time. All right, B plus. I'm starting to see a trend develop here. We're going to take one more shot, play one more level, and see if we can't get that A. Looks like Lethal Weasel's number three and number four are on the local list. Amongst friends, number one and number three. And in the world, Zach Taylor, you the man. How close did we get to Zach Taylor? We've got. 282.6 and 395. Not even close. That guy is the man. Alright. We're going to do one more. And we're going to call it a day. You can't put this off forever. Into the heart of darkness. Indeed. All right, let's go, bro. I'm down. I like how the uh, entrance tunnel to each level, too, also uh, kind of gives you a preview of what to expect in the next level. The last one had uh, the pig dude. And this one has some evil looking winch on it all right so this is the uh, hotel level here let me tell you these stupid birds can be annoying frosty the snowman got shot down in cold blood Cold blood, get it? Oh, get me a deer. Get off my dinner, birds. That's what I was saying. Those birds suck sometimes, man. Did I miss the uh, junction switch here? I must have. One of the things that makes this game so replayable is there are multiple routes through each level. There are switches that you can shoot, which switches the track. So you can go through it one way, one time, and then in a completely different way the other time. So it's kind of like two levels. Check that out. That is going to leave a mark. See, that's the beauty of VR. When would you ever experience someone getting sawed in half in real life outside of some crappy magician show? I don't think that dude's going to get put back together again. What about you? I need me that shotgun up there. Got it. Look at all the blood on these trees where people have hit their head. All right, so what I say, a little bit of murder, a little bit of roller coaster riding. It's a recipe that works every time in VR. I 
think I missed it. I saw one of those collectibles up there. I, I don't think I got it. Got that one. Got that one. Did I really miss that many of those? I must have. Because they're still here. Check out the giant moon. Alright, here's one of those switches. Like I said before, you can pick which way you go. I want to continue going this way because I like what the track does when you go this way. Check this out. Haha! <laughs> awesome! That's so cool. Look, some more cold blood. Someone was killed in cold blood here. Maybe I'm about to be killed in cold blood. Ah, dude. You know, it's annoying when you literally shoot something's head off and it keeps coming. Well, ah, somebody threw a bomb at me. You gotta catch those guys before they get you. Cause you will die. And then my friend, you die, man. Oh look, there's a gun, a revolver. Probably should have took the uh, the revolver into my right hand since I'm so right-handed. Right, we did a little bit better that time now that we knew to expect bombs. Yeah. You can shoot the bombs and uh, and blow the dudes up while they're holding them. By the way, BTW, you can kill these jerks with their own weapon. Gotcha. Again, I have mixed feelings about using my good weapons on these targets. Well, this is how you score points. By shooting up the targets. And there's tons of collectibles in here. Maybe I haven't played this level on this difficulty before, but I find that hard to believe. I see these tracks going around through the other way. I feel like there's a lot of these 
junction switches that I'm missing because I see the way these tracks go and I wonder if that's just for show or if I can really go that way there's a lot of tracks that I have not been down on the, in this game and I've played this game a lot so either this game is just very good at keeping me distracted or that stuff is just there for show creepy environment here these mannequin guys are more freaky than you think because they keep moving when you're not looking they're like the uh, the ghosts on Mario you look at them and they stand still, you turn your head and they move around. This place looks to be a bit run down. It's a fixer upper for sure. Anybody left with a head? Not for long. Okay. See all these tracks here? I feel like I should be able to uh, use them. Evil pottery, ladies and gentlemen. The evilest pottery in the world. Alright, so we're gonna pick up those screens for the multiplier. And then get the shotguns. Dude, I took your head away. Die already. I uh, see, I let that heart distract me and turn my head away from the evil clown dude. This actually took me a few times the first time I played it to beat this part. If you don't know how to approach it, it's actually pretty uh, pretty difficult but after you get the strat down it's really not that bad
Dude, stay down. What a jerk. It's those birds, right? Those evil ass aggravating birds. Okay, so I'm gonna try something different this time. I'm gonna take both shotguns into my right hand. When I have something that don't really fight back, I can just use my regular gun on it. And I can save this ammo for these guys. That didn't really work that well. Okay, that worked very poorly, actually. Very poorly, very poorly. Because apparently the longer you take to uh, get in on those, on that heart, the more of those birds come after you. Which is what you do not want. All right, so I'm gonna wait. See, we'll just for this first time around, we'll just hit him with pistols, right? Oh, crap, where'd the other one go? Uh oh. Alright. I think I'm outsmarting myself here. Let's get it together. Again, the sound is just creepy here. You hear this, all this weeping going on around you. Gets me every time. I'm trying to remember how I conquered it the first time. Oh, I remember I played it on normal instead of stupid psychotic, huh?
We almost had it that time. Almost. I'm not even going to waste my uh, bullets on that thing. I picked my guns up too early this time, not thinking. Now the frustration starts to set in. But progress, people. Progress is progress, I suppose. We did it. Oh, check that thing out. Evil people. Evil games are number one. That's a prime oh, example of that. Promise. I expect a full recovery very soon. So there you have it. Uh, as you can see, this game's still rather challenging. I've played this game, you know, a hundred times. I've probably played all the way through it, what, maybe three or four times? 
Again, we're stuck on that B+. Plus. Let's see how we stack up. Okay, so locally, we're number four. Amongst friends, number one and number five. And in the world, Zach Taylor is the man. All right. Well, not as good as I would have liked to have done. I probably would have liked to uh, beat that boss with about 10 less deaths than what... Uh, what it took but hey in the end we were victorious and it was a ton of fun again anyone who has playstation vr and doesn't have this game what are you doing it's four dollars and fifty cents i mean come on and if you don't believe me how fun it is or you think it might be a little too much for you download the free demo i'm pretty sure this game is on all three of the demo discs and you can probably even download the uh, demo for this game standalone. I'm not sure, but many of the games that are on those demo discs, you can, uh, you can download the demo by itself. Anyway, I want to thank anyone who has made it this far with me. If you like what you see here, you know what to do. Give me those three clicks, like, subscribe, and the notification bell. If there's a game you would like to see Weasel play, put it in the comments. And uh, I'm going to keep keep on chugging, trucking away at uh, getting my uh, PC VR recording issues uh, behind me. And I'm going to do a Oculus Rift video very, very soon. But uh, one way or the other, I'll be back tomorrow with another video whether it be oculus playstation vr you can bet your life that it's going to be an awesome vr game so thanks for watching we'll see you next time